Hey everyone, this is Tizarak, and today I'm going to be showing you two pretty decent uh, mode of harmony farming spots if just planting song bells um, at your farm at the tillers isn't enough for you and you need more. Uh, here's some two ways to go about it that I've read about and from personal experience they seem to be okay. So let's get on with it. So right now I'm up in um, Zoo's Watch at the very north end of the Crossering Wilds and the two NPCs you're looking for are this guy Ken Ken and this Mel Barrel Bottom. They'll start two quest lines that you gotta go through to get to a certain point um, and the quest you eventually want to get to is Zoo's Despair and once you've gotten that quest, you don't ever have to complete it. Um, and when you go away, it's a phased event, so right now it's not active. But once you want it to start, you come down to Ken Ken. And say, let's do this. And then all this, there's a ton of these Shaw things that spawn. Um and they spawn like all the time they have a very fast refresh rate and there's another guy farming here too which is irritating but um there's certain items I use to help out with the AOE such as the feral druid uh... if I can find a big clump of them I'll show you or just with these few I uh, use this battle horn, which is an item you can get off of Blood Hoof. Uh, he's a rare spawn in uh, Valley of the Four Winds. Uh, it's got a fairly short cooldown, but it's great for grabbing a whole bunch of stuff to round up and AoE down, and these things have no health. So it should be pretty much easy for any class that has any sort of AoE to take these down. And yeah, as you can see, like they they just keep respawning. I don't I don't even have much time to rest. I'm going to have to get out of this area pretty soon to show you all the other spot. We pretty much get the gist that this place just infinitely spawns stuff. And, um, they drop some pretty decent gray items, too. Um, vials and such. Um, some of them, I think one of them will sell for, like, nine gold, even. Uh, which isn't too shabby. And they drop dirt greens too. Um, so this is definitely one of the better ways to do it. But like I said, there's that there's that monk over there farming this area too, which kind of makes it not quite as great. Okay, I gotta get out of this area. Yeah, I cheated there. Uh, I used my, um, Sal Salian Battle Banner, whatever it's called. You can get that from, um, Salian War Scout out here in Valley of the Four Two. It's vanished for everyone, uh, but only outdoors in Pandaria. And I'll, um, swap the video back over once I reach the next destination. Okay, now I'm at the next spot. Um, this is the Howling Wind Trail, there's a cave right, right by it, uh, you can look up my, at my location, um, it's about 59, 53 on the map, straight south of the Magashan Terrace, 
what's nice about this place is there are several spots that have a ton of snow mounds in the ground and when you walk over them or do some sort of AOE attack more of these little sprites pop up um, and they have a fairly good drop rate of harmonies, greens, trash, whatever uh, but before I go in here to sh show what's going on uh, I was talking about a couple items at the last place uh, another item that's really good for doing the AOE thing is this guy here, Yanga Wind Chime? Uh, you get that off Dak the Breaker and the Dread Wastes. Um, it's great for any class. Very short cooldown. Um, you'll get to see it in action. You know, 50,000 damage and a knockdown stun. That's just that's just crazy to go along with what other, uh, whatever other AOEs you have. And of course. Um, if you know if you're in a guild that has access to it and you have enough reputation for it, you want to get the guild herald or the guild page. Um, you know if you're cheap like me and don't want to get one of the traveling tundra mammoths or whatever to sell your crap to when your bags are getting full. But all right, let's go in here and kill some things. I'm gonna leave this spot alone right now because I'm gonna use. Um, my battle horn here in a minute, but here's the first spot, and as you can see, there are a ton of these little snow mounds. And um, I'm just gonna walk through and pick them all up. These guys will walk a couple feet, and then they'll start doing nothing but throwing snowballs. And I'm gonna use that trink. And as you can see, extra damage, yay, and now they're all dead. And they drop a fair amount of stuff. So that was the first giant snow pile area. There are two more. The next one is over here. They don't have a lot of hit points, they don't do a terrible amount of damage. Now before I show you all the next spot, I like to use the battle horn around in this area on the map. Um, I gather up some of the guys on this side, uh, because the horn does have sort of a line of sight issue. Come to me little sprites. And then I'll grab a few and come in here. Aggro them all. And then come over here and line of sight them. And then the third, and probably biggest, oh wait, sorry, there are four spots. This is the third one. Uh, I like to use my battle horn here, uh, but since it's on cooldown, normally what I do to get all this mess is you kind of got to get right around here so you can line of sight everything, and it'll reach all those piles in the bottom and everything up here. 
Um, but since my horn's on cooldown, I'm just gonna walk out here and kill the pack by itself. So that's pretty much it in this area as far as the best group spots to get. There's some other areas I can hear where they're kind of sparsed out and you can just sort of kill them individually while you wait for the snow mounds uh, and that one spot to respawn, which doesn't take too long. Like usually by the time I'm done with one end, um, back at the beginning it will have respawned the snow mounds. So we'll go take a look at that real quick. Well, I guess I killed too quick. It's not really back up yet. But my battle horn's back up. Uh, so let's try getting a few up here. So it's not terrible. Uh, it's a little... It can get a little slow. Sometimes Sometimes you get a bunch, sometimes you get a little... You know, RNG. All that good stuff. Um, that's pretty much it for this place. There's this area over here too, but it's kind of hard to round these up and line of sight them. But yep, those are the two farming spots that I know pretty well about. Um, I read about them on Wowhead. I don't know who in particular came up with them because you see a bunch of posts about it and some people aren't really aware of these spots. And apparently this spot in particular used to be better because multiple sprites came out of each mound. Um, I still think it's not too bad. Uh, but thank you for watching and happy mode of harmony humping. Hum humping. Hunting. Ugh. I can talk. Goodbye.